And action! <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Zoom Into Jazz! Woo! <laughs> um, we hope you're all having a great week. As you can see, we are back in the prayer room. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> because... Well, it's really comfy in here, I'm not going to lie, so we, we you really, might enjoy it. We really like the seats, they make us feel really official. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, we hope you are having a great week. Hopefully some of you aren't having to take time off school. Hopefully, uh, for your parents' sake anyway. Um, but no, it's great having you here again. Now Hannah, what are we doing today? Okay, so our challenge today, I'm hopefully going to make some sense by saying, explaining this, because the actual challenge is not going to make much sense at all. Um, so the title of this challenge is Guess the Gibberish. Gid and I are going to watch a YouTube video which will appear magically somewhere on the screen. Thanks, Adrian. And, um, and on the, on the screen, we're going to see some words that don't make a whole lot of sense. You're gonna, it's going to look like gibberish. But if we say it in the right way, then it will make sense. Hopefully this will all make sense after the first one, when we've had a go. Yeah, so basically, you want the other person to think it's gibberish, but you can figure it out before them. Hannah won last week. I'm not best pleased about that at all. <laughs> I'm really not pleased at all, by the way. So, whilst this is all going to be gibberish, I'm going to win this week. So each, each word that comes up, it'll be the first person to get it, and then we'll just count, count how many... Yeah, how many you we got right. Exactly. Exactly. Are we ready? I mean... <sighs> I hope so. Dear me, I okay, said. Okay, hit five. I'm so nervous. What is this phrase? Chocolate hip cookies. Choc chocolate hip cookies. Choc chocolate. Choc chocolate hip cookies. I don't know. Co chocolate chip cookies. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we're well, we'll going to do it. Hide and seek. Hi hide and seek. Oh! <laughs> one. That's one for me. I'm holding it up. In fact, you basically gave me that. I said, oh. Oh, so you should have said that a lot. <laughs> Refrigerator. Oh, damn it. I wanted to. I wanted to. Oh, you got your confidence up here. I do. How many are there? I don't know. Oh. Um, Uncle and Auntie Ruth. No. Um, um. You, can't. you can't tell the truth? Oh. I don't know. You oh, I didn't even the truth. I didn't get that right. Yeah, did you. Oh, yeah, and down. I don't know why I didn't think of that. So I'm still on two. SpongeBob Squarepants. It's SpongeBob SquarePants, yeah, you got that, right, yeah. <laughs> It's SpongeBob SquarePants, isn't it? SpongeBob SquarePants, yeah. SpongeBob SquarePants, SpongeBob SquarePants. Weird. Oh, weird flex, but okay. I don't know what that. I know that term, but I didn't get. I'm not cool enough to know that. Bang. Pancakes and syrup. syrup. Yeah. Yes. You are right. Ooh. Oh, it's coming back. What if it's a tie? What happens if there's no more? I get a point. Why? <laughs> ice. 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 Ice corduroy? Ice. No. I scored a goal, oh. yeah. I saw once I, I saw I scored as it came up. I was so annoyed. Check up. Check up. 
Alright. Jack of all trades. Why are we not getting these? I don't know, but we need, I need to get one more. Boat, 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 ships. Boat, 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 I honestly, we've done, you lot have eaten us, we've done terribly <laughs> Ace height, four soul rack. Can you not say it out loud? It's not easy to work it out. Ace, <laughs> um, oh, ace, a sight for soul rack. I would do that. That's on us right now. Yeah, we're doing terribly. Um, how many G's? How many G's or whatever, yeah. I hope that's it. Yeah. yeah. Three, two to me! Oh no! <laughs> soap operas. Soap opera. No, but the tar at the end. Soap opera. Tar. Soap operator. No, soap oh, opera star. Oh, you're so close! <laughs> so close! It's getting hot in here. I, I wouldn't have ever got that if you'd given me mix. So up. I shall not. I shall. So up. You need to stop saying that a lot. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel. Oh, that'll be his last one as well. Yeah. That was really well played, but it is. Oh, no. yes! <laughs> I think it's safe to say we both did woefully. <laughs> <laughs> we been, how did I not get the soap opera star? You were so close on that one. Oh, so close. But, Hannah, who won? Gideon. You won. <laughs> What's that make the score? Twelve. Three. Now, if you haven't seen Is the that views, right? yes. If you haven't seen the views, it looks like we might not be back at church properly for maybe six months. So you've got quite a long time <laughs> to catch up here. <laughs> Twelve three means you need nine weeks. So Boris, can you keep us in lockdown for nine weeks? <laughs> no <I'm> joking. <laughs> but I'm twelve three. I'm pretty happy with that. I was really sad because I thought that was a challenge that I could beat you at. I mean, honestly, I, mean, I, I thought you were going to beat me. At. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, the competitive nature of me comes out. Oh. So let's move on. So today, we're, Hannah is going to be reading the story for this week, and we're learning about a really fun topic. We're learning about Jesus feeding the 5,000. Yeah, we are. So, Hannah, do you mind reading for us? Yeah, I'd love to. Well, it's taken from another Bob Hartman book this week, um, and this time um, we are reading a poem, and it's called Rumbling Tummies. Jesus was teaching way up on a hill. Everyone started grumbling. The town's far away. We've been here all day. And everyone's tummies was rumbling. Everyone's tummy is rumbling. Find them something to eat, he said to his friends. But where, they all answered, mumbling. It will take lots of cash, yes, quite a big stash, to stop all these tummies rumbling to stop all these tummies rumbling. A boy here, said Andrew, gave me his lunch and passed it to Jesus fumbling. Jesus said, two fish and some bread. It's enough to stop tummies rumbling. It's enough to stop tummies rumbling. Jesus asked God, then tore up the cod and the bread too, the whole lot crumbling. Sit folk on the ground, then pass it around, and we'll stop these tummies rumbling. We'll stop these tummies rumbling. So they carried that food all around the hill, rushing and running and stumbling.
grumbling. From one little lunch, Jesus fed the whole bunch till nobody's tummy was rumbling. Till nobody's tummy was rumbling. There were leftovers too, 12 baskets in all, stacked so high that they nearly went tumbling. 5,000 at least shared in that feast with nobody's tummy rumbling. With nobody's tummy left rumbling. This is a really exciting and fun story and a bit crazy to think about Jesus feeding that many people. But it's true and it happened and I think it might be time for our Bible race. Are you ready to get it? So the Bible race is along the theme. It's the same story, but this time we're looking in an adult Bible, which just makes it a little more difficult. So we're looking for... This is actually, this story is in different areas of the Bible, but we're looking from John. So it's John 6, verse 9, that we want. Are you ready, Han? I am ready. Are you ready to beat me in the Bible race? I am 100% ready. I keep thinking that we should start tallying the the Bible race winners. Is that because you're a little sad that you're losing the chance? I I might have a better chance at at having a more equal level. I I think you may well have (laughs) have made me in Bible races, but... It's still 12 Anyway, let's do this. Right, three, two, one. I didn't say go. Oh, we core out. <laughs> See, you just have to check that people don't cheat. Uh, John <laughs> six verse nine. Three, two, <laughs> one, go. Uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, or oh, Acts have gone too far. John. I'm there. No, I'm there now. <laughs> If you want to start tallying, we can tell them from now. From uh, now, because you just you know, want to uh, Yeah, I think we're all right, yeah. I think we're all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right, I will read the, the verse. It says, Here is a boy with five small barley loaves and two small fish. But how far will they go among so many? We know that from Hannah reading the... Uh, the little poem she read, it ended up feeding everyone and plenty more. So, hey, what a great story. What an incredible story. The thing I love about this story more than anything is that it's the little boy who brings what he has and that encourages me and it should encourage all of you guys out there, whether you're three or 53 or 73, that whatever we have, whatever we can bring, to the table, Jesus and God will use that um, in in our lives and, and can do amazing things with it. And that's just really awesome. Do they have to be multiples of three? Well, with threes on the end anyway, not multiples. Yeah, <laughs> they any age, let's <laughs> it Right, so we have a craft this week. I'm really excited about the craft this week. I think it looks so cool. Um, so, the craft. It's quite cool because it's one of these ones where you twist it using handles. So as you can see, there are many mouths to feed, and there's Jesus and the young boy. And you kind of think by looking at this picture, probably not going to feed everyone, let's be honest. But you get a cool little switch up, if I can get it round. Oh, I've gone too far. Where you've got Jesus and the little boy and tons of food. What a cool little craft that is. So you get to have him at the start of the story where all the disciples are like, how are we going to feed them? We don't have enough cash, we don't have enough food. Where are we going to go? And then you've got at the end, after Jesus performed this miracle, where the fish and the bread have gone plenty far enough. That's awesome. It is. It's a bit fiddly. It is a bit fiddly. (laughs) But I'm very proud of it now that it's done. I think I, I, that's a great craft. That is a great craft. Um, well, if you guys want to um, get in touch with us, um, the email is the same as it always has been and will be. Um, Hannah's doing this by herself, by the way. <laughs> it is interns at cbcl.org.uk. It's getting bigger 
here every week yeah. to do that. I don't know how you're going to top it off after a little while, but hey, it's great. So, Hannah, would you like to pray for us before we finish? I would love to pray for us. Heavenly Father, I thank you that you love and cherish each and every one of us. Father, thank you that you want to use us um, for your work on, on the, in this kingdom, in this earth. Father, would you be with us, would you prompt us, and would you um, help us to be fully who you have made us to be? In Jesus' name. Amen! Oof, I can't get that. It's, <laughs> it's strange, but we're getting that. <laughs> well, guys, it's really fun, and um, I'm really glad that you've come and joined us and joined in. Um, I hope you enjoyed the service this morning. You're going to get to see more of my face, actually. Um, but lucky lot. Aren't lucky you? lot. <laughs> um, but yes, have a good day, and we will see you again next week. We will indeed. See you later, guys. Bye! Go on.